Hello everyone. I trust that you are doing well. I'd like to share Habakkuk chapter 1 from verses 2 to 6 with you and it reads thus. Oh Lord, how long shall I cry for help and you will not hear? Or cry to you violence and you will not save? Why do you make me see iniquity? And why do you idly look at wrong? Destruction and violence are before me. Strife and contention arise. So the law is paralyzed and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous, so justice goes forth perverted. I wonder if you hear the similarities between the questions asked by Habakkuk and the questions that you and I may have. We are hearing and seeing a lot of challenges happening. We're seeing violence. We're seeing distractions. We're hearing about diseases. We're hearing about rumors of war. Why, why, why? We are learning from Habakkuk and I would like to encourage you to read the book of Habakkuk because he is a prophet who when he saw all these things happening and had questions and didn't talk amongst the people, he instead because of his fellowship and relationship with God, the Father, the one who is the King, the creator of heaven and earth, the one and only who knows everything that is happening. He knew. He chose to go to, go to him and ask, Lord, what is happening here? I do not understand. Look at what is happening. Can't you see it? And I think when we are frustrated, we tend to forget that we are all in the palm of God's hand. And God is not shaken by what is happening because he is sovereign. He knows exactly what is happening. But for us to find answers and sometimes not even answers, but to find peace, being in the midst of all this turmoil and violence and all these challenges that we are experiencing, we go back to him because he is the God who even says, even when we are in the palm of, uh, of his hand, he even says, I incline my ear to you. He invites us. Now, think about it. With him as the king, of the world, the king of heaven and earth, the creator. And we have a relationship with him. Imagine what will happen if we go to him and ask him. One of the ways of finding answers is going to the word of God. Because nothing that is happening is new under the sun. But everything that is happening under his sight, he sees, he knows, he's not taken by surprise. Nothing that is happening and every person who is doing wickedness is known by him and does not, ab I mean, is not able to move him or shake him off of his throne. So why not go to him? How about we join Habakkuk? Because he made a decision when you look at Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. He says, he make a decision to say, I will stand on the rampart. I will stand at my watch post to be able to see what he says. What am I saying about all these things? I am saying the best place, the one and only place to find answers that are reliable is the word of God. 
It is God himself because the word points to him. Let us go back to God, the king of the world, the king of heaven, the king of all. Let us go to him and ask these questions. Let us not join with the people that are being controlled by the news and everything, every gossip, every opinion that's going around. He has the answer. Let us go to him. I bless you and I encourage you to go back, read the book of Habakkuk and fellowship with the king. Amen.